What is up Zombie Nation? Welcome back to your daily dose of zombie news, zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies. This is your host, sorry I don't speak Damonese and let's get right into that news. As always before we get into this video I'm on my knees right now and I am begging, begging for those likes so guys if you could go down and smash that like button and I mean smash it. I want you to smash it harder than the time the shadow man got his penis out for a rombie. Like I always say, the support on the previous video is absolutely amazing. You guys did an awesome job. We are over 86 likes on that particular video. So if you have not liked that video yet, please make sure you go over there. We've got a 115 like goal on that. So please go over and smash some likes on that. We've also got a 115 like goal today on today's video. So if your penis is already out for a rombe, you may as well just slam it on that keyboard and hit that like button at the same time. And after you've swung it around for a rombe and hit that like button, you also so may as well grab the mouse button, take it down to the share option and share this video on either Twitter or Facebook or any social network that you use. But please share this video. Also guys, if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed to Damon at Game yet, I do not know what you are doing with your lives. You should be subscribed. This is the place for zombie news. So guys, if you could do that for me, that would make you absolutely awesome. And for every share this video gets, I will personally strangle a denizen. Now with all that out the way, with the intro is done and dusted let's get right into that news okay so what is up guys news today is a little bit small i was actually considering not uploading but i did not want to let my fellow followers down i mean you guys are so awesome the least i can do is upload something to my channel i know how some of you really look forward to my uploads and i wouldn't dare leave you without the first story is coming from the cod zombie reddit forum it was posted by the user of come tx come come x come x I mean, that's a wicked name, but that was the user it came by. He actually posted up a snapshot of the Shadows of Evil trailer where it shows the gobblegum I'm feeling lucky in a different form than it is. If you look very, very closely, you can actually see the gobblegum was supposed to be a mega rare. As you know, it's not a mega rare now in game, it's actually just a mega gumball. But if it was once upon a time a mega rare, do you think maybe there were other abilities that this gobblegum give us? Because as you know, it just spawns a random power up like a max ammo or an insta kill or even something like a fire cell. And those are not pretty mega rares to us, so I can imagine why it wasn't. If anything, it is a worse gobblegum than an insta kill itself because you only get a chance of getting one or the other so it's more of a gambling gobblegum but if it was once upon a time a mega rare and things like the insta kill still wasn't maybe there was something or some special ability that i'm feeling lucky used to give us that we never received of course it's only speculation at this point none of us knows what it could have done shadows of evil came out a long long time ago now but i thought this was a very very cool find so i thought it would share it with you guys again like i said shadows of evil been out for such a long time now and people are still picking up on little tiny bits of information that we've overseen in trailers all the way from back then. My point mainly being if we missed something so small like this gobblegum being a mega rare then maybe there are other things within the trailers that we have missed or other things that are even of importance to the storyline. So this is a call to action guys go to Treyarch's YouTube and go to Call of Duty's YouTube and I want you to watch all the trailers if you've got time of course if you've got homework make sure you do your homework first all right and if you do find anything make sure you hit me up on twitter at damon at game or even just leave a comment in the comment section below also in the news a youtube user by the name of jbird632 you all may have heard this name plenty of times in my videos i am following his channel very very much at the minute he is producing some amazing stuff for black ops 3 models well he just posted up a video yesterday it is roughly an hour long and he basically shows how his him himself creates items for the mod tools coming to Black Ops 3. In this particular video he is actually modeling the Gersh device. The Gersh device also referred to as Project Mercury by Dr. Gersh of course is a tactical grenade that appears in the zombie maps Ascension and Moon all the way back from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. It costs roughly 950 from the mystery box. Now if you've never used the Gersh device if you know what the Apoth Conservant is and you have used the Raygun Mark 3 where you can shoot and it creates this sort of purple portal well that's exactly what the Gersh device used to do all the way back in Black Ops 1 and it seems like it's going to be coming back to Black Ops 3 models yes Jaybird was actually working on the actual model so I would expect there is going to be a video very very soon of him actually using the new Gersh device that will be available in Black Ops 3 models again the links will be in the description so you can go over to his channel watch the full it's about 55 minute long so you can watch the full video it's somewhat of a tutorial he actually speaks through what he's using what plug 
plugins he's using. He's actually using Photoshop, which is beyond me. So me myself might even get into making my own mods and see what I can create myself for Black Ops 3 mod tools. Also in the news, Mr. Dalek JD just posted up his third part of the interview with Jason Blundell. I absolutely love these interviews. They're just like a little eyeful, a little handful of information from inside the Treyarch Studios. Both Mr. Dalek JD and Mr. Waffle Waffles had give interviews to Jason Blundell. I think Mr. Waffle Waffles is over, but like I said, Mr. Dalek JD posted up his third part last night. I suppose the main bits of information from this video is in fact that as well as Jason Blundell being a sucker for muddy evil castles, as well as Jason Blundell loving the fact that fog keeps rolling in, he is now a sucker for books. I really like books. All jokes aside, Mr. Dalek JD actually asked some very, very important questions. The fact, what are the books within Nero's room on Shadows of Evil? Again, Mr. Blundell replied that he just likes books. So we do not know if there is anything more going on with these books apart from the fact that Jason Blundell just loves books. He's a sucker for them. Mr. Dalek JD also quizzes him on guns. Old guns may be returning to Black Ops 3 DLC 4. Jason Blundell does actually discuss this with him and he does explain that him himself Jason Blundell, the one, the fog, actually likes the idea of adding older weapons into the games and at any chance that he has, he will. But he did make it very, very clear that he will only add an old gun from older maps if it fits the particular map. And I suppose how to put that in layman's terms is if you was to put a very, very old weapon in a map that was meant to be in the future and there was no way for it to get there, it would just not make any sense whatsoever. He also puts it down to the fact of game play as well. A lot of the reasons why certain things do not come into Black Ops is the fact that it will change the actual gameplay, either make it easier, either make it harder, or just make it completely unplayable. So I completely understand the reason why he is not just chucking every weapon within Black Ops 3. But he did say himself, him personally loves to add old weapons from older maps. It is one of his favourite things to do. So if there is any old weapons that fit this new map, i.e. DLC 4 Revelations, we will indeed be seeing older guns return. Also another big big part of the discussion was that Mr. Dalek JD asked him if we were going to have any cooperative modes within Call of Duty Zombies in Black Ops 3. Jason Blundell did respond with we can actually chuck in something like grief or turned within two minutes. They have the ability to make cooperative play in zombies in no time at all. But Mr. Jason Blundell did say that he is not really happy with the game type and game mode. And he has been thinking for an awful long time of a way how to incorporate a different game mode into zombies. But they have just not found the right type of game mode to add as of yet. He did go on to discuss about the grief mode back in Black Ops 2 and turned. But he did also say that the play time life of those actual game modes were very very small and that even though people really really wanted them not an awful lot of people played them hence the reason why something like grief or turned will not be returning even if it can be added into the game very very quickly all in all it was a very informative video if you'd like to watch the whole video again the links for the full video will be in a description it was a very very interesting video if you haven't got time to watch it all then these are the main points that he speaks about though he does go into slightly more detail than I have. So if you've got some spare time guys, make sure you go over and check that interview out. On to our last story today, a YouTube user by the name of Nate Smith Zombies has created a working gondola from Mob of the Dead for Black Ops 3 mod tools. Yes, as you can see now on screen, he actually creates the gondola from Mob of the Dead. If you can't remember Mob of the Dead, I mean, are you even a Zombies fan? Come on, Mob of the Dead? The gondola was a form of transportation in Mob of the Dead. It actually took you down from the main Alcatraz prison all the way down to the docks whilst down in the docks you could actually activate the rocket turret when you were in afterlife there was also pirates behind fences you had to get but all in all the gondola was very very useful i can remember many many times sitting in the gondola waiting for my friends and at many many times i would have a train of zombies in front of me and the friend behind me so it was either leave my friend to die try and fight with him or die myself i really want to take my hat off to nate smith zombies you are doing an absolutely amazing job now with this gondola it makes remakes like mob of the dead for black ops 3 mod tools very very plausible and even if we have to use a combination of many other types of mod tool creators just to make one map 
Who cares? Imagine a Mob of the Dead remake. It would be so epic. And me, myself, I'm not too sure about you guys, but I am so looking forward to Black Ops 3 mod tools coming out. Because when it does, and if Infinite Warfare Zombies is a complete flop, we're going to have something very, very special to play, and I cannot wait. And guys, that is all the news for today. I'm sorry the stories have not been the best today. News is very, very short on Call of Duty Zombies at the minute. Don't forget the DLC 4 will be coming out pretty soon. So as soon as that drops, the news is just going to be overwhelming. There is going to be absolutely loads and loads of news. So look out for those episodes. But guys, if you did make it to the end of the video, you are absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. Like always, we're trying to hit that like goal of 115 likes. You guys may always ask why I'm always asking for that particular like goal. I mean, because it's a cool like goal. And if you think I never hit it, looking on my last videos, I'll put some on screen now. We've actually smashed that like goal more or less every single time I've made a news video even though we don't do it in the first day within a couple of days bang 115 and you guys are just so so awesome as well as my dick being out for Arambe it is also being out for you guys that like those videos that sounded so fucking wrong so the least you can do guys is like the video for me to pull my trousers back up not only that guys sharing a video is also a great 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 help if you could share this video on your Facebook on your Twitter or any type of social network site that you have got that I may not know about that would be absolutely awesome and again guys if you got any zombie news that you would like me to cover please make sure you hit me up on Twitter at Damon that game I repeat myself again it's at Damon that game that is my Twitter handle come on over follow me if you got any questions ask me I mean I reply to everything if you comment in this comment section I will reply to you if you hit me up on Twitter I will reply to you I've even got a Facebook page which I never never use I don't know Facebook just feels dead to me but if you use Facebook and you'd rather use Facebook than Twitter you can also hit me up on Facebook which is also Facebook forward slash Damon that game but yes guys this has been your source for your daily dose of zombie news zombie information and everything you need to know about zombies this has been your host sorry I don't speak Damonese and we're just over 36,370 subscribers yeah.